wherever you are, I do hope that you can join me in appreciating this truly beautiful evening. A night that is absolutely ideal for a game of football. The scenes here really are something, a beautiful picture under the floodlights. Traffic and transport round here, not the kindest, but regardless of that, the fans have found a way of getting here. There is a sense of theatre and the decibel levels are rising. Well, this is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Well, under normal circumstances, this is a massive matchup, and I'm not totally in agreement with the view that friendlies tend to take the edge away. In my experience, if the opposition go at it full tilt, then you have to reciprocate. We'd like to see excitement and be entertained, but if it does go down the serious route, there'll still be lots to enjoy. So that's got things on the way. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Well, Peter, this guy, Federico Chiesa, I think is a very unique style of play. He's considered a wide player, but one that's unpredictable and especially dangerous if he's allowed to get his head down and start running at defenders. Yes, he's certainly the one who carries the hopes of his team. Marco Verratti. Out to the left it goes. Well, you can see what, what they're trying to do here, Peter. You know, get the ball into wider areas. Yeah, there is a, a very visible, a very, a very definite pattern here. Well, that's where the space is, and it's quite simple. It's just going to stretch that defence, isn't it? Now it's Kramaric. Now it's Petkovic. Maya. Now it's Petkovic. Maya! Decent enough try. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. Fascioli. Uh, that pass has been well intercepted. Petkovic, Maya, Petkovic, Maya, Maya! And collective relief etched on the faces of the defenders. That's just front foot enforcement. Pressure leads to mistake, leads to chance. Marco Verratti. Oh, good spread. Berdeski. Petkovic. Oh, that's a key interception. Petkovic is offering an apologetic gesture of sorts. Encouraged the pass with an intelligent run, but the pass just lacked pace. Bernadeschi is onto it in a flash. Kovacic. Maya. Petkovic. Threads one in. Oh, he's got a side of goal. Good challenge. Excellent challenge. And he's had it nicked away. Brozovic has given away a free kick. Chiesa really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. Maya. Now it's Modric. Might be danger here. It's Modric! 
It's a carbon copy of the previous miss. The and the referee brings the first half to a close. But it has been a half largely of could haves and should haves. Perhaps the more impatient amongst the supporters will feel they're overdue a goal. But it's certainly not for the want of trying, so nothing to show as yet. At the break, it's nil-nil. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? I think it's been a very impressive defensive effort. They've never been broken down and contained the opposition attack extremely well. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. And we are already promptly back on the way. Croatia clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Modric. Kovacic. Now Kramaric, Maya, lobbed in behind, he's through here, caught offside that time. He's had a fair tumble under that challenge. And it's Brozovic. And he's away. And out to safety. Oh, good determined running there, but one back by the defence. It's admirable, but ultimately he didn't know when to look for support. Oh, nicely intercepted. Petkovic is effectively being marked out of the game here. Well, they'll have to get the numbers right in hoping to keep him quiet because he's a really big threat. Well, he's looking at the referee, but the referee is shaking his head. Marco Verratti. Great defending, strong and determined. Now it's Petkovic. Good spot, he's seen the run. Shapes to shoot! Croatia merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Played over towards the opposite flank. Fagioli, interesting ball. Politano providing an a massive leap. It's and in again. He scored. And late in the day, a telling moment. Livakovic, some heroic goalkeeping, but even that couldn't save them this time. Well, they say all goalkeepers are crazy, and after that, maybe there's some truth in it. Italy are making a change now. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Italy take the lead, 1-0. Look, I just think they've kept at it and got their reward. Now they need to hang on to it. Petkovic. And it's Modric. Pessina. Italy can afford to settle on seeing this one out by running down the clock, I think. Orsic. And it's Kovacic. Gets his pass away. Always oh, onto this. Petkovic. Oh, that is. And the finish! That's a fine save! Meyer really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was.
Well, there is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Well, for me, towering header. And that is the end of it. They hung on right till the finish.